Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful cancers. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Hope you all are having a great day today's cancers. But then again, I know you are because that's the intention you set. Let's get into your reading. Let's just get straight into a cancers. Yes, this is a general reading. These cards that I'm using are the Light Sears Tarot deck by Chris Ann. These cards right here are the Sacred Self-Care Oracle deck by Jill Pyle. Yes, cancers. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. Let's get into it. Let's go. Most high God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful cancers. These cards want to fly out in every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality, and where they need to take action. What information do we have from our wonderful cancers? What information do we have from our wonderful cancers? What information do we have from our wonderful cancers? So yes, cancer, we have a waxing crescent moon tonight. Tomorrow starts the first quarter moon. Mm, what does that mean while we're laying these cards? Let me make a little room here. Let's make a little room here. Okay, I'm going to get into that. First and foremost, I am a cancer. Yes, I'm a sweetheart. I'm empathetic. I give my best. I don't hold back my emotions. I am very charming. Oh, look at this cancer. I am tenacious. I'm highly, highly, highly imaginative. Yes, I am persuasive. I am emotional in a good way. I am sympathetic. I am very, very loyal. Yes, people can count on me. And also, Cancer, I want you to say, I am a God, right? I am a God. People are drawn to your energy. You are very magnetic. People are drawn to that energy. This right here is the Five of Swords. We're going to put this right here for a second. We have the King of Pentacles. Can you get in there close? See? Yes, we have the Two of Pentacles. Yes. We have the Devil card. Yes, Cancer. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's move this over here so we can make some room. Make some room, make some room, make some room. Right here. We also have the Six of Swords right here <clears throat> and we have the king of cups yes let's move this right here just make some more yes all right first of all cancers so when we talk about these moon phases right these moon phases happen every single month i don't want you all to be caught up in missing these tests that are coming your way every single month okay first and foremost when we talked about um the last video we talked about the waxing crescent moon, right? So the waxing crescent moon is like really, really having faith in your dreams. Um, all the things that you said that you wanted to do. Do you want to get a better job? Um, go back to school. Being in a healthy relationships. The, no, being in healthy relationships. Let's make that plural. Not just your romantic relationships, but professional ones. Family relationships, soul tribe, all of that in healthy relationships, right? So it's a divine feminine energy. Doesn't matter if you identify as a man or a woman, cancer. It's a divine feminine energy. You people are drawn to your energy, right? Your energy is very cyclic, meaning that you show your strength through your inner reserve. So you're not always speaking things, like you're not always projecting outward, right? But look, I want to show you something. You all have taken action against, and this is, I'm very proud of you, Cancer, because you all have taken action to leave situations that have been quite, frankly, hostile towards you, right? So yeah, your, an your ancestors are all around you, but they've always been around you, saying, guiding you. Okay, you need to leave this unhealthy situation, right? So this is what you've done. You've left unhealthy healthy situations and you have moved forward towards your You've moved closer towards your peace, calm, and serenity, right? The situation that you left was very, very, very toxic. That's an understatement, very toxic. You were literally in a relationship with someone who chose the demonic side of themselves. As a result of you leaving that relationship, this is what's being released to you. Yep, money. Mm -hmm. This king of pentacles is a person who has the Midas touch when it comes to their money. This is you sorting out your daily affairs right here. Uh-huh. You're stronger when it comes to your money after having left this type of energy, right? Here comes the test, all right? Remember having faith in your dreams. Your dreams, part of your dreams, Cancer, has been to be in healthy, happy relationships where clear boundaries are set, right? 
So that's just part of it, right? Plus moving forward towards, you know, making more money, um, you know, pursuing your dreams, the whole nine yards. So certainly removing this type of energy out of your space is helping you move closer towards your dreams, right? This type of energy is very controlling, very manipulative, um, gets very angry when they can't tell you, you know, can't control the way you move, Cancer. Where you are right now, moving towards the first quarter moon, first quarter moon is helping you to stay committed to your dreams as you move forward. The waxing crescent moon is, okay, I'm moving forward, I'm not looking back. This type of energy right here will, huh, okay, part of your test is this type of energy will creep back into your dreams if you haven't completely severed ties. And I mean severed ties as in um, blocking them from your text messaging, DMs, um, all sorts of media, right? But also doing it in the spiritual realm, right? Completely severing ties with this type of, this type of energy because this type of energy knows exactly which buttons to push, right, Cancer? But of course, this type of energy will also block your money, right? This type of energy, right? This type of energy, demonic energy, will sit back and watch how you move, um, will be able to predict, this is how manipulative they are, predict your next move. And this is why you have to cut that energy off. And how you cut it off is in the spirit realm, right? Getting to the crown the crown chakra, the God level of clarity, and seeing things for what it really is, including this energy's next move. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. All right, Cancer, let's talk about the number 28 for a second, because 28 is very, very, very powerful, right? All numbers are, because they carry their own special vibrations. 28 means that you have an original approach to life and unique, inventive ideas. It also means that this number makes you want to explore life to the fullest and ignite your ambitious nature. It also means that you have an innate remembering of who you are at a soul level and you are here to remind others of the that eternal connection right so you know who you are you all are very 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 intuitive people right this type of energy is also intuitive but they use logic to say see I know your past, I know your track record, because this is what you're gonna do, and this is what you like and what you don't like. This type of energy will trip you up because they're using things that you can see with your natural eyes versus with your spiritual eyes, but you have the advantage of being an emotional sign and you pick up on emotions very, very well. This type of energy is very, very toxic very toxic because yeah they're intuitive as well but they use logic to trip you up yes mm -hmm. yes let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see okay here we go here we go here we go yes let's see mm -hmm. uh-huh yep that type of energy has caused you <laughs> That type of energy, Cancer, has caused you to really second guess yourself. Make sure we didn't have other, you know, cards kind of trying to stick together a little bit. You've already left this situation. You've been around through many cycles with this particular energy right here, this demonic energy, right? You've left this situation and you've gained a lot of wisdom and knowledge along the way. Matter of fact, you know exactly how this type of energy moves, right? Yeah. Yep, you know exactly. And every time you leave this type of energy along the way, things seem to go very well for you. You have this childlike exuberance. You have all this energy. You feel like you want to go out there and get it, go after your dreams, the whole nine yards. This type of energy can only be handled by having a tower moment. Nothing that you do, Cancer, is going to cause this person to fall. You leaving them is not going to cause them to fall. None of that. They're going to have to have a tower moment. Tower moments never look good. They never feel good to the person on the receiving end of creating their own karma. Here we go. But because of the trauma that they put you through, you're walking through life now with these blindfolds on. 
afraid to be in healthy relationships with other people. So you're focusing on your money because of what happened with you. Take the blindfolds off because there are good people out here that's going to also help you to increase your financial worth. Yeah. Yeah, you've been bitten by a snake before. Somebody who slithered into your life. They were very manipulative. They learned all the inner workings of you and they bit you. Yeah. So, but you can trust your intuition. Also, you're, you have a certain level of compassion, but this time your compassion is focused more towards yourself than it is towards this type of energy. See, this is the only thing that can take this out, not you. A tower moment has to happen because the universe knows exactly what would get to the core of this type of energy, and you don't. Yeah, you don't. Yeah. Boy, I tell you, tower moments are no joke. No joke. But see, here's the action that you took. First of all, you left that type of energy. And look at all this money in your cards. Look at all this money in your cards as a result of leaving that particular energy. Mm-hmm. Yes, look at this. I love it, love it, love it. Let me tell you. I'm going to tell you, there's some energies, Cancer, that no matter what you do, it's not going to have the same effect on that type of demonic energy as a tower moment would because this is the karma they created for themselves. They are so manipulative till it's just not even funny. It's actually pretty sad. Yeah, but... You took the first steps. Your first steps was walking away from this type of energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boy, when I tell you, you got in that meditative state and you were able to see things for what they really were and just how clearly you were able to see things, you know, in a God level of clarity. That's what they weren't counting on. That's what they weren't counting on, Cancer. They were not counting on you meditating and seeing things from a God level of clarity. Yeah. You're able to see right straight through them. But see, even with seeing straight through them, every time you have any kind of interaction with this kind of spirit, they try to hit you with logic. <laughs> Boy, I tell you. I tell you, Cancer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This type of energy, see this right here, sing? That's why I like to shuffle the cards in front of you. This type of energy will tell you that you're too old to sing. This type of energy will tell you, why would you want to do that? Yeah, why, why would you want to do that? Yeah, this type of energy would do all kinds of stuff to try to block you from your dreams. You're too old. You're too this. You're too that. You're, 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 you're whatever. Any kind of obstacles trying to block you from singing. But guess what? Go on and sing anyway. Watch. Their tower moment is going to... <laughs> This type of energy, excuse me, this type of energy could be a family member. It could be an ex. It could be a current person that's in your life right now. It could be somebody who was a naysayer who was trying to block you from doing what you wanted to do, which is to sing, right? They were like, you're too old. You're either close to 45, you're 45 or over 45, but they're like, you're too old to do that. You're too old to go after that. <laughs> and you're like, you know what? Once you start to see how the tower moment happens for them, Cancer, you'll start to see, wow, you know what? Because I'm telling you, at any age, you can do anything that you want to do because there's always room for your gifts and your talents. I'm telling you, Cancer. So, yeah, you have nothing to worry about. Like I said, your commitment right now with this first quarter moon coming tomorrow is being tested. You are all, you're halfway to your goal. This is where you just need to put in a little bit more effort to stay a lot more focused. You will see this tower moment happen. You will see that person, persons who doubted you, you will see them fall and it'll happen just like that. And you'll have a quick revelation of, hey, I need to keep on going towards that finish line. This person has tried to talk you out of the thing that you wanted to do. You sailed away from them. That was the first action. That's you tapping to your, your divine masculine side. That's you taking action. Um, because as long as you sat there and you listened to that, this was you just saying, okay, I'm sick and tired of this. You had already saw yourself moving away from that person, moving out of, moving them out of your energy space. That was the first step. The second step was you actually taking the action to physically move away from them. The third one here that I'm looking at is that, okay, well, I don't want to, you know how somebody, <laughs> 
cancer. You know how somebody put their their hands over their ears and they're like, la, 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 la. I don't want to hear it anymore. Yeah, that's what this is. But this, but you were putting the blindfolds over your eyes so that you didn't see any more evil. You didn't want to hear or see any more evil. But your ancestors were like, no, we want to show you something beautiful. You're not too old. You're not too this. You're not too that. You're just right. And the timing is just right for you. So stay focused, Cancer. Stay focused. Stay focused. And go ahead and sing your song. That's what I got for you, Cancer. Have a great one because you're going to pass this test. Yeah, you just needed to realize how much you really wanted this, right? And so here's your second win. Again, you're halfway there. This is time you just take it all the way to the finish line. That's what I have for you, Cancers. Have a great one. Bye.